All right, guys, welcome back to Q&A Thursdays. I'm Dr. James Emmett. You're in my kitchen. Welcome. Guys, we had a question from Roger in Ottawa, actually. His question was, if I'm getting home at the end of the day, is it a great thing to be able to microwave my food? Let me tell you this. When I was going through some stressful times in my life, I come home after clinic and I was beat, I was exhausted, I was mentally fogged. I had just gone shopping. I go to the fridge. The fridge was full of food. I'd open it up look around for a minute, close the door. I'd go to the cupboard, I'd open the cupboard, look for something to eat, close the door. Back to the fridge, look back in again, close the door. This went back and forth, probably about five minutes trying to figure out what I was going to do. And then in the end, I settled for a bowl of cereal. I can tell you guys, if there's any way for you on a Sunday or a Saturday, pre-prepare a few meals in advance and freeze them. And then when you go to use them, don't microwave. Do not use a microwave. If you want to find out what microwaving does to food, take a look at work that was done by Emoto, E-M-O-T-O, a Japanese researcher who exposed water to microwave particles. Then he, then he put them on slides, froze them, and took a look at them microscopically. You got to see this work. You do it online. It's amazing. Amazing what happens to the water molecules. If you microwave your food, same thing's happening. You're changing the molecular structure. You're denaturing the proteins affecting the food. It becomes inert. It doesn't have an effect in your body. Look. The biggest thing is pre-plan, pre-prepare your food so that you have stuff to eat when you get home after a busy day. If you're too tired to make anything, bring it out, put it in a pan, put it in the oven. It's going to take you 40 minutes, but in that 40 minutes, you can do some exercise, have a shower, do some meditation, stuff that's going to help your body move along and let your body kind of restore its balance by the end of the day. That's the Q&A Thursdays. I'm Dr. James Emmett. We'll see you next time.